Start your day with gratitude by ordering D. Michelle's latest book, 31 Scoops of Gratitude. 31 Scoops of Gratitude is a devotional that explores the transformative power of cultivating a thankful heart. The book includes 31 scoops of biblical-based encouragement for the day. This book is perfect for anyone seeking to cultivate a deeper sense of joy and contentment in their lives. Whether you are new to the practice of gratitude or have been practicing for years, 31 Scoops of Gratitude provides an accessible and inspiring guide to living a life overflowing with thankfulness. Now available on Amazon.com or MorningCerealScoop.com. Now, get ready for Morning Cereal with D. Michelle. Well, hey, 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 now, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, D. Michelle, D. Oh, so Dominique, and yo, I just had to come through and give you a midday scoop of morning cereal. That's right, I know you've been missing the scoop, but now the scoop is back. The scoop is back, and I'm so excited about this scoop on today. Um, I recently made a statement that resonated with a lot of people, and I wanted to kind of do a deep dive scoop of encouragement with that, if that's okay. Um, because you all know around this bowl um, here, we have conversations that encourage re relevant examinations around life. And that's exactly what today's scoop is. It is a relevant examination around life because the truth is God's plan is better than mine, even when I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else agree with that? God's plan is better than mine, even when I don't like it. Will you do me a favor? Will you drop that in the comments? Because, I mean, it's it's real. It's true. God's plan is better than mine, even when I don't like it. Um, the reality is life... <laughs> Life is filled with, with twists and turns, highs and lows, moments of joy, um, disappointment. And, 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 and it's this journey that, that we're all on and we're all trying to navigate life. And, and along this journey, we often find ourselves making plans and, and setting goals and, and dreaming of a future that aligns with our desires and our aspirations and, and what it is that we want. However, there are times <laughs> when our plans don't unfold the way we had hoped for them to unfold. And, and it leaves us feeling pretty confused. It leaves us feeling pretty frustrated. It leaves us feeling even disheartened. And I believe that it's in these moments that we must remember the wisdom that is found in Proverbs 16 and 9. And, and it says, the human mind plans the way but the Lord directs the steps. The Amplified Translation says, a man's mind plans his way as he journeys through life, but the Lord directs his steps and establishes them. Yeah, established in the Hebrew is kum, and, and it simply means to set or to fix firmly, like firmly, he has to fix it. it. He ratifies what has been previously set or made. Like we can make plans. We can have, you know, like the, these ideas of what it is that we want. But, but if it does not align with the will of God, he will ratify our plans and establish them in a way that God's plans are fulfilled. And so, yes, through, through, through our lives and, and our journeys, we make these plans, but because of God's sovereign plan, he redirects us according to his purpose for our lives. And I believe that this verse reminds us that while we may have our own plans, ultimately God's plan is far greater and wiser than anything that we can conceive. And I know that it can be challenging to accept that God's plans may differ from our own. 
especially when we face disappointment or uncertainty and and we think to ourselves you know what if if it could just go the way i want it to go things would be different but beloved it's 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 exactly in these moments that that our faith is not only tested but strengthened and and we are called to trust in god's sovereignty as believers as believers now if you're not a believer this ain't for you but i appreciate you being on But nevertheless, as believers, we are called to trust in God's sovereignty, knowing that God's ways are higher and God's thoughts are greater than our own. And so when we surrender our plans to God and trust in God's divine guidance, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities and blessings that we may have never imagined. You know, God's plan will take us in on unexpected paths and lead us into places that we never thought we would be. I'm a living witness. I would have never imagined that God's plan for my life would look like the way it is unfolding. But I trust that God's plan is molding me into who God has designed me to be. And so for you, I wanna encourage you and let you know that it, it may be disappointment, disappointing, you may experience disappointment. You may experience frustration, but you have to trust that even when we don't understand or like the circumstances we find ourselves in, we can take comfort in knowing that God is working all things together for our good. What does Romans 8, 28 say? Everything works together for the good of them who love God. And so because God sees the bigger picture, Um, And because God's plan is rooted in love and in purpose and the fulfillment of, of his promises, we can rest assured that everything is going to be all right. So today I pray that we embrace the truth that God's plan is better than ours, even when it doesn't align with our desires and and even when we don't like it. I I pray that we just trust in God's wisdom, knowing that, that God is orchestrating every step of our journey, even if it means to reestablish us, to get us on the path that, that, that he has designed for us. And, and I pray that we just surrender our plans to God and, and find peace in knowing that God's plan is perfect and God's faithfulness will never waver. I pray that we continue to seek God's guidance and, and that we find solace in the presence of the true and living God and have an unwavering faith in that plan, even when it challenges us, even when it makes us uncomfortable. For it is in our obedience and in our surrender to God's will that we discover the abundant life that God has prepared for us. And so I just want to pray for us real quick, and then I'm going to let you get back to the rest of your day. Let us pray. Oh, gracious God, we pause today with humble hearts, acknowledging that your plan is greater and wiser than ours. Help us to surrender our desires and plans to you, trusting that you have our best interests at heart. Give us the strength and the faith to embrace your plan, even when it doesn't align with ours. May we find peace in knowing that you are in control and that your faithfulness endures forever. It's in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Yo, trust the plan of God. God has everything under control. Will you do me a favor? Will you share this with someone? Will you be of encouragement to someone on your timeline and let them know that, listen, man, I know that that you planned it one way and it's looking another way, but will you just trust it and trust that God has it all under control and everything will work together for the good of them. Be of encouragement to someone on today. Share this, comment on this, like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, subscribe to um, to Morning Serial, the podcast available on all podcast platforms. It's on uh, it, it's on Apple, it's on Spotify, um, it's on Amazon Podcast. Yeah, y'all know Amazon got podcasts. It is. It's on there. Um, it's on Audible. It's everywhere that you can find a podcast. Um, if you just want to listen back and not watch the video, if you're driving, listen back to it. Subscribe, and you'll get the push notifications whenever a new scoop is released all right all right i'm praying for you guys pray for me 
Um, I'm excited about 2024, not only for myself, but for you. Because as you trust the plan of God, God will do exceedingly abundantly above anything that you can ask or think. And I cannot wait to hear your testimony of what God has done. Until next time. It's your girl, D. Michelle, D. Oso Dominique, and this has been your midday scoop of morning cereal. Until next time, bye, y'all.